Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, another blackout racket from Selenko. The light one, though. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So before I get going today, I want to thank my Coffee of the Day sponsor, Ali Salihi. Ali, thank you so much for my piping hot dark roast from Pete's. Truly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, support my dark roast hot piping coffee habit. Wow, that's a lot of words there. Network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. Mm. Ah, need that. Okay, so. Selenko Blackout 265. So this is the lightest of all the blackout rackets. 265 grams is what that number stands for. And that is before strings on it. Okay. So let's take quickly take a look at some vitals on it. I'm actually pretty excited to try this one. So now these are, it's strong. These are strong numbers. 9.9 .9 ounces or 281 grams is the weight with the strings. It's one point head heavy. So you guys know I love head heavy. So light overall, but head heavy. Swing weight is 300. The RA is 67, which is pretty average for something like this. The beam, 23.5 at the top, 26 in the middle. 23 towards the throat. It only comes in a four and a quarter in a, excuse me, four and an eighth and four and a quarter for now. Hey, Elliot's here. Good morning. Hey, anything for me? That's all for you, my That's guy. All for me. All right. Oh. Guys have a great day. Got Stay warm. The key to this racket is that it is head heavy so that you don't get tennis elbow and you guys know I like head heavy and surprisingly I'm gravitating towards lighter rackets because there's less material in it. So there's more feel through the racket. So I'm actually super excited to try this racket. It kind of brings me back to hammer days. Um, and plus the beam 23.5 up here, 26 here for the stiffness. And then we going back down to 23 here. So you're going to get a little flex here, a little firmness here. And a little stability up top. So, super excited. Alright guys, so on the court, the new Selenko Blackout 265. Coach Goose here with me today, and so is Coach Chris. Let's test them out. All right, guys, so we just got off the court. Selenko Blackout 265 this time, 265 grams. Coach Goo. Overall, I mean, like I said, the lightest of the family, um, but I could see this being part of a junior that is coming off a 26 racket to now with the big boys, the 27s. Um, so this is a good playing racket, especially when um, they're actually becoming more competitive. Uh, they're playing a lot more tournaments and they're really ready for a true racket. Um, like I said, this is a great feeling racket, great power, great feel, um, as well as just um, the weight overall. It goes throughout the whole racket. I think this racket is more weighted towards the head due to its lightness. Therefore, 
I actually love, I actually like it a little bit more compared to the, most of the other light rackets in the market. Um, if I had to compare this racket with any of its competitors, it's a Babolat Pure Drive Light or um, a Wilson Clash Ultralight. So I think this beats all of those in my opinion um, when it comes to this weight class of 265 grams. Overall, definitely give this a shot. Good job, Solenko. All right, Coach Chris, what do you think of that? I think this racket would be good for the high performance junior, probably age 11, 12 years old. Uh, the weight distribution on this is more in the head. And definitely, I like what Slinko is trying to do, marketing some of these rackets, especially the 265 to some of the younger crowds. So that way you can kind of get them to switch into playing with the Slinko racket. So it's a good alternative to what is else is on the market. So definitely a good playable racket for sure. So the three of us actually enjoyed this one a lot. Although it was only 265 grams before strings, uh, the balance was weighted kind of to our liking. And that balance, as um, both Coach Gu and Coach Chris said, was weighted in the head. Because as I always say, when it's a light racket overall, the weight's got to be in the head or else you will get tennis elbow. So because of that balance, it was easy to feel the head come through, easy to plow through the ball, easy to finish the ball. So Coach Chris needs that kind of weight to kind of let go through. Coach Gu wants to feel it in his swing. I definitely need it because if I don't feel the racket, it ain't coming through. So we like this a lot because of that. And we think that that 12-year-old high-performance kid coming out of that 26-inch racket, that 13-year-old, 14-year-old, um, that lady starting lead, 3-0, 3-5, 4-0, maybe even up to 4-5, would probably benefit from a racket just like this. Because of light overall, racket will come through the air, finish up for you, definitely have enough power. So great overall racket. So guys, try this one. You'll like it a lot. See, I got two nods here, and I'm a nod too, you know. So... Coach Goo. <laughs> Let's go bobblehead. Okay. All right. So, Coach Goo, thank you for uh, joining me and uh, of course, testing of course. this out. Yeah. Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at ag.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. And Coach Chris, where yep. can we find you, buddy? Find me at CV Chen Tennis. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.